Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm out at Granny Camp, which is my Alaska remote off-grid cabin. And I wanted to talk to you about things that preppers should never throw away. Before you throw away or recycle something, look it over and think about all the ways that you could use it. Some of the items that you should never throw away include egg cartons, dryer lint, soda cans, straws, Let's look over a bunch of items that might normally get thrown away or recycled and figure out how you can use them for prepping and emergency needs. Start with dryer lint. We know it's a great fire starter. You can save up a cardboard tube, even an old dryer sheet, and stuff it inside of the tube. You have a fire starter. I put a magnet clip onto a gallon Ziploc bag, stuck it right on the side of my dryer, and I can use it every time I have empty dryer lint, put it into the bag, then it's all collected. I have a nice big supply of fire starters just from my dryer. You can also use cardboard tubes as seed starters. Put a few snips in it, fold up the bottom, and you have a little container ready to use for starting your seeds. Jars are always handy. I like the Classico pasta sauce jars because they have the same lid as a canning jar, so you can clean them out and reuse them to store your dried foods. You can also use a jar to make an oil lamp. Remove the lid from your jar and punch a hole in it. When you do it from the bottom through to the top, you have little nubs of metal that are going to help hold the wick in place so it doesn't slide back down into the oil or the jar. Cut off one of the mop strings and stick it back up through your jar lid. Fill your jar with oil, place the lid on, and screw on the cap. You can save up old crayons and use them as candles. You can make a charcoal lighter just take a big old can and you cut out both ends of it and you just go around and poke holes in it all the way around. Use a can with a lid, poke a hole in the lid and use it to make char cloth. Once your can is empty, you want to loosely fill it with cotton rounds. Get your barbecue going full blast and set the can onto the barbecue. The heat from the grill is going to char the cotton so that you have char cloth left. You can use an empty can to melt wax to make a little emergency stove. Make a simple buddy burner, cut strips of cardboard, roll them up, and fill an empty tuna can. Now pour melted wax over it, and then in an emergency you can light the wax. It'll burn the cardboard and you have a buddy burner. Plastic bottles from things like soda, water, and Gatorade or sports drinks can be cleaned out and used to hold emergency water or if they have a wide enough mouth, you can use them to store your dried foods. Rice, beans, oatmeal, lentils, all can go right into the plastic bottle. Make sure it's only held food and that on the bottom it says P-E-T or P-E-T-E. Melt down old candles and pour them over things like dryer lint, pine cones, wood chips, egg cartons, and make fire starters. Save your old newspapers to start fires, clean windows. You can spread them out between the rows in your garden to mulch the weeds, wrap up garbage, or roll them into fire logs. You can cut off the bottom of a plastic container and use it as a mini greenhouse or cut it and make a funnel. Use old pill bottles to hold small items, kindling, matches. You can even use one to make an emergency water filter kit. Pill bottles are airtight. Use them to store your oxygen absorbers. Flatten and roll up an empty water bottle for an emergency water carrier container. There's hundreds of uses for plastic bags. Stuff them in the empty dishwasher tablet box and place them right under the sink. You can take an empty Kleenex box and stuff them in and then you can easily pluck them one at a time out of the top. Do you buy oatmeal? Stuff them in the oatmeal carton, make a slit in the lid, place it on and you have a pop-up garbage or trash bag dispenser. If you have something like an Altoids or a candy container, 
You can make mini emergency kits. You can make fishing kits. There's all kinds of little kits you can put together in empty Altoids and candy containers. Do you have straws? You can turn them into little waterproof containers. Fold over the straw, pinch it in a little bit, and push the ring of straw you cut off right over the end. That will seal it up but allow you to open and close it. When you want to open it, take off the straw ring, open the straw, and you can pour out what you want. Seal it back up with the little straw ring. If you ever get takeout food and they give you plastic utensils, save them in your bug out bag. Keep a box of them in your kitchen, then in an emergency, you have plastic utensils, you don't have to wash things, say if there isn't any water. There's all kinds of things you can do with an old pop can. You can cut it open, use it as a lantern, put a candle in it. You can flatten it out and use it as an emergency baking sheet. You can cut off the bottom and use that to make an oil lamp. Sometimes I buy food. It comes in a plastic container with a snap-on lid. You can save these for organizing your emergency gear. Label them on the side. Use them to organize your dog's poop bags. Use them to store your face masks and gloves. Put them by your purse so you remember to take them when you go out of the house. Look things over before you discard them. Try to think, how can I use this for something else? Load up a five gallon bucket with things that are interesting to you and see if there isn't a way that you can figure out how to use them. The more ways that you figure out how to use the thing you have, the more things you actually have. And it can be creative, it can be entertaining, and it can really be life-saving if you figure out how to use the things that you have to make the things that you need. Prepping can be a lot of fun, it can be a challenge, and if we've thought about emergencies that we may face, then we have prepared and we're mentally ready to face whatever comes our way. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else who might like it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.